Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I finally have my pigmentation video up for you guys. It's definitely been the most requested video I have had lately. So I finally have it here and to be honest I took quite a while because I need to like keep using the products and see if they are actually working. So that's why I took a bit of a while to do this video for you guys but I think I finally found like the products that have been really working for me and really helping to reduce and get rid of my pigmentation. Most of it is products that I've been using and there's one technique that I have been using which I'll share with you guys. So the first product that I have been using and I definitely recommend to any of you that have spots, scarring, blemish scars, um, pigmentation, this is like the best thing ever. Now I get mine from Girl, Glow Girl Cosmetics and this one's a 0.5mm one and you can use my code Anushka50 to get 50% off which is a massive deal. Um, but this is like your standard dermal roller, this is what it looks like. I do have a video on dermal rolling so I will link that in the info box. I don't necessarily have one where I'm using it so if you guys want to see that let me know. To be honest this is really going to, uh, basically what it does it kind of breaks the layer, the first layer of your skin and forces your skin to reconstruct itself so meaning it will get rid of scars and like pigmentation so I've been using this around my mouth and like my cheeks where I've been having pigmentation you can kind of see it right there. Um, this side is actually going, it's going really well, but I, if you look at my old videos, I'll put a picture here if I can show you, but I had a massive scar here, I had a massive one here, like, I always get blemish scars, and I've been using this, and I literally don't have any, any, like, blemish scar because of dermal rolling, and obviously the products that I've been using, but that's really helped to get it rid, rid of the dark spot really quickly so yeah dermal rolling is definitely something I would consider but if you have really inflamed skin with acne and stuff I would definitely suggest going to see your doctor because dermal rolling is still quite evasive like it's definitely needles going into your skin so I don't want to be recommending something that is too much for your skin so if you really have sensitive or inflamed skin I definitely suggest seeing a doctor they'll even prescribe you something like dermal rolling or like stronger products for your skin the next products that I recommend are from the Audi Ordinary brand. Now I have been really really enjoying this and I don't mind doing a review on their products if you guys want to see a video on that. I'm actually going to purchase more products from them because their products are actually really good but if you want to see a review on it on their brand let me know in the comments. This is their Alpha Arbutin Serum and on their website it says this is really good for like pigmentation. I've literally used half of it already and this is really good if you want to um, get rid of um, pigmentation. It is an acid. It says it's got purified alpha arbutin and hyaluronic acid and because it has an acid in it you need to make sure that you're wearing SPF. I do wear a lot of SPF so that's really actually really important to making sure that your skin doesn't get any hyperpigmentation. Um, so make sure you're always wearing a high SPF. Um, for me like I'm always wearing SPF 50 or 25. Um, but this has been really good. I feel like it has been helping to the reduction of my hyperpigmentation and it's literally two to three drops morning and night which I've been doing consistently. And then I also have been using just 100% rosehip oil. Um, this is again also apparently really good for like pigmentation and dark marks on the skin. And again I just use this a lot. I actually put a lot at night time and then in the, like today I've just put I've just dabbed it around my mouth and my um, my pigmentation on my cheeks but yeah if you're like doing a spot as well you can like do a bit of dermal rolling and put the oil in it's like the best thing ever <laughs> but yeah I definitely recommend this as well the next thing is uh, the Nip and Fab Exfoliate Glycolic Fix but oh my god it's such a long name let's start again <laughs> Um, the next one is the Nip and Fab Glycolic Fix Radiant Shot. This is what it looks like and it's one that I've been using for quite a while now. It literally just comes in like a pipette kind of thing and it has pearls in it that gives you an instant glow but it also has amino acids in there that's really going to help reduce pigmentation in your skin. So this has been really helping and it actually helps to make my skin feel really smooth. I also was thinking to do a um, skin texture video so this is pipe of pigmentation but I do use a lot of products for my skin texture so my two main concerns for my skin are skin texture and hyperpigmentation so this is really good for both skin texture and hyperpigmentation so it's definitely one to try out 
and it's affordable so I definitely recommend it and then finally it's my trusty old bio oil this is actually my second bottle um, I've just been using this religiously like on my legs my my bum um, for stretch marks and my face it's just really good and it is you can use this on your face it, I've done research you can use it on your face but what I would suggest is get a little bottle and just try it on a section of your skin if you do react to it because I know not everyone can wear this but it's been working really well for me and it's definitely something that I added to my skincare routine to kind of reduce my pigmentation and it's kind of worked. So literally that's all the products that I use personally for my pigmentation and they have really worked for me. My skin has definitely improved compared to before, like it's definitely brighter and more even. I still have some pigmentation and to be honest pigmentation comes and goes when it wants to. It's just the fact that when it comes you just need to know how to... Um, or like know what products to use to reduce it and kind of make it less obvious. If you are consistent with the skincare, you will see results. It's not. It's definitely not like a one day thing. Um, and what works for me may not work for you. So give these products a try if you want to, but it might not work for you. How? But because everyone's different. So products that I hate might work for you, but then vice versa, products that um, I love might not work for you. So it's, it goes both ways. I also would suggest that if you have very irritated and inflamed skin, try to keep your skincare to the minimal, like literally just don't use too much. I feel like the less you use, the better. And I do like to test out new skincare every now and then, but I try to keep my main ones consistent if I want to see results. Because if I'm constantly changing, I'm not really going to see results. So um, I would say be consistent with your skincare and try to keep it as simple as possible. Don't use a ton that like, you really don't need. Like I see a lot of people using a ton of acid skin products that they don't really need. You just need one or two maybe but not all of them you don't need all of them um, and every single one is for specific concerns so you have to read up on it see what your skin concerns are and then see what products are targeted to kind of treat those concerns I think that's it like it's not that complicated I don't use that many products I just make sure that I keep using them and that's how I've been seeing results I do use a lot of SPF so make sure to use SPF it doesn't matter what skin tone you are like if you are super dark still wear it just wear your SPF I was actually thinking to do a video of where I'm actually using the skincare and showing you how I'm using it with the dermal rolling how I do it and also makeup color correcting if you want to see that all in one video give this video a thumbs up so i know if you want to see it um i know this video will probably be really quick but it's not there's not really much that i do um and if you have any questions you can feel free to ask me in the comments below i'll answer to everyone thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys and i'll see you next time